Hey guys, how are you all? So today we are here to start our actual work of uh, learning reinforcement learning. So as I uh, mentioned in my previous video that I would be going to start the actual reinforcement learning course from the next video onwards. So this is the next video. This is the second video of the series and we'll start learning reinforcement learning from today onwards. So before going into the hardcore reinforcement learning things, very complicated concepts and all, I will start with something very basic, very, very basic concepts of reinforcement learning. Uh, it's not like concept, it's like entry point into reinforcement learning. And it starts with something called bandit problems. So, so what are bandit? It's not like bandit robbers or something like that that's it's something completely different so if you ever if you have ever been to casinos then you or if you have watched the movies like hollywood movies in casinos you might have seen those machines where you have to pull a lever and some something rolls with numbers like three uh, there are three rollers and they rotate and uh, after a certain time it stops and if all the numbers are same you get some money out of the machine and for pulling that lever you have to put some money and if you like if you are lucky enough and you get the same number in all the rollers then you get the money back not that money but the double or triple times uh, like three times of the money you have um, you put into the machine uh, you get it back so here what happens it's entirely based on your luck but uh, it's the chance here is not like 50 50 okay. so those machines are called bandits okay uh, the machines with one lever is called a single arm bandit and there are a few machines where you might get multiple arms and you have a you have the option of uh, pulling one of the uh, one of the levers uh, and those machines are called multi-arm bandits so these are bandit machines or you can call them slot machines so the thing is in slot machines uh, uh, the chances of winning is not 50 50 percent like if you pull the pull the trigger or pull the lever for 100 times it's not like you will win like 50 times it's not like coin tossing so it's always less than 50 and it's very very less actually it's uh, it's programmed inside the machine how many times or with what probability a player will win it's programmed inside the machine uh, by the manufacturer and uh, and th that program is not fixed everywhere some machines might give you more returns and some uh, machine might give you less returns like some machines are programmed to give you five percent of the time and some uh, some machines are programmed to give you like 30% of the time so it's not balanced uh, everywhere it's not the same so most of the time you won't get lucky because if it is like programmed like to return 5% of the time then if you pull the trigger for 100 times then if you are very lucky then you'll win like around 5 times uh, slightly more or slightly less than five times so <clears throat> it's like that so so what what is the bandit problem so bandit problem is about multi arm bandits so so in this case let's assume that instead of taking the multi armed machine let's take uh, like f like different machines different like l let's say we have three different uh, bandit machines or slot machines now program mean inside each of the machines are different like uh, some will give you five percent return some will give you uh, some uh, uh, another one might give you like uh, 19 percent return and uh, the, the based one maybe will return you like hmm, 30 percent of the time so your goal is to win maximum amount of time and get maximum reward out of the machines so to get maximum reward out of the machines you have to select the machines that gives you more returns right so if there are machines one with five percent return one with 19 percent return one with 30 percent return then you would select the 30 percent one because it will give you most of the time like if you pull the trigger for 100 times then 
like more, more or less 30 percent 30 times you will win so you have to select that machines and if you keep on playing on that machine this is the best strategy to um, have maximum reward right a player will not have any idea of that percentage of return okay you don't have the statistics or you, it's not written anywhere that this machine will give you the 30 percent or this machine will give you 15 percent that way people will go and play on that machine only the the, uh, the machine that gives uh, maximum returns so it's not like that so what you have to do what should be your strategy to get more and more return out of the machines okay so probably you have got some idea right you have to get the statistics you have to get the statistics from the machine like play on each of the machines multiple times and see which machine is giving you more return so this is a very naive way of solving this problem like you go to one machine play on that machine 400 times maybe go to the second machine play on that machine 400 times and go to the third machine play on that 400 times and then you uh, compute the return rate like if you in the first machine if you won five times out of 100 uh, 100 plays then it's like return is like return would be how much it's five okay five percent so it's like that but the problem is when you play 100 times just just 100 times on each of the machines uh, the problem is <coughs> you will never get correct statistics if those percentages are very close like one is five percent one is six percent one is seven percent the machines the actual percentage of return of each of the machines like one is five percent six percent seven percent so in that case if you do a statistics from 100 trials on each of the machine and try to figure out how much is the return rate of each of the machines then you will not get accurate results five six seven values you'll never get maybe on the machine that uh, actually gives five percent return you might get uh, seven percent maybe it's a it's a probability right you need large number of samples like millions of samples on each of the machines to know the return rate the actual return rate even if you take millions of trial on each of the machine you can go very close to the real return rate very close not exactly it will be very very close to the real return rate but it will never be exact that value so let's see what happens if we apply the naive approach to solve the multi bandit problem uh, so in this example we have three machines um, and uh, the first machine has 5% return rate the second machine has 8% return rate and the third machine has 11% return rate and these return rates are hidden inside the machine a player will not have any idea about these return rates uh, so we have to maximize our reward so for that using that naive approach what we will do we will play 100 times on each of the machines so for example uh, let's say you play 100 times on the first machine and you get 7% uh, win rate and in the second machine uh, you play 100 times and you get 12% uh, win rate and in the third machine you again play 100 times and get 9% win rate now if you uh, if you see here uh, from the small statistics we have found that the second machine actually giving us maximum return and this mistake is because of uh, taking very small number of uh, samples so in this naive approach we have this problem if we have small number of samples then we might get wrong statistics and using this statistics if we start playing on the machine uh, having estimated maximum return rate uh, then uh, we may not get the maximum possible reward right because to get the maximum possible rewar reward we have to play on the third machine and here in this example we will play on the second machine thinking that it will give us the maximum reward so this is the problem with naive approach what we can do to solve the problem of naive approach we can not only play on the machine that gives us maximum estimated return rate uh, but we will also play sometimes on the other machines like most of the time we will play uh, on the machine that gives us maximum return rate 
and sometimes occasionally we'll also play on other machines and uh, and while doing so we incrementally compute the return rate with more and more gameplays with this machine uh, even if you uh, wrongly estimate the return rate in initial trials uh, with more and more data points collected from all the machines uh, eventually you will get more and more accurate return rate on the machines and eventually you'll move to the machine that gives you the best return so we'll see this example in the next screen here is the same multi-arm bandit problem with three bandit machines and we have to improve our reward we have to get maximum reward out of this machine so here what we will do uh, instead of initially estimating the return rate uh, we will estimate the return rate in an incremental manner and while doing so whenever we find a machine giving us maximum return rate the maximum estimated return rate will play on that machine most of the time but occasionally will also play on other machines so that we can gather more statistics from those machines also and update the uh, average return of those machine incrementally every time we win on a machine for a particular trial we get reward of one and if we lost that game then we get zero reward so here since we are estimating the uh, return rate incrementally means with every gameplay we recompute the return rate on each of the machine so even with initial uh, statistics if we get wrong estimate of uh, the machine that gives us the maximum return uh, with more and more statistics with more and more gameplay uh, we will correct our estimates uh, and we'll move towards the machine that gives us more reward but throughout this period since we cannot be certain that after like hundreds or thousands or one million trials we get the machine that gives us the maximum return so what we will do we will keep using our strategy we will play most of the time on the machine that is currently giving us maximum return rate the maximum estimated return rate and occasionally we will play on the other machines also this strategy is called epsilon greasy strategy where epsilon is the probability of playing on a random machine instead of the machine that gives us best estimated reward epsilon is a very small number between 0 and 1 and it's the probability of exploration so this value should be very small if it is 0.2 that means 20% of the time we play on other machines and 80% uh, of the time we play on the machine that we think gives us uh, the best return so with this approach we mitigate the problem of uh, the naive approach by incrementally estimating the return rate so far we have seen two different approaches to deal with multi arm bandit problem but these two approaches can deal with multi arm bandit problem with stationary return rate. So stationary return rate means if all the machines has fixed return rate and it doesn't vary with time. If that return rate varies with time then whatever we have learned will not exactly work on those machines on those kind of problems. So for that we will learn two different strategies in the next video and uh, and we'll also learn some definitions like uh, what is value function in context of uh, reinforcement learning and uh, we'll see uh, what value function means uh, in multi arm bandit problem so till then bye bye subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get notification when i upload my next video